My name is Ted Price. I'm the founder and CEO of Insomniac Games. We are an independent developer. We make a bunch of different types of games. Ratchet and Clank is all about humor, light science fiction fantasy. Resistance is gritty, realistic, hardcore science fiction. What I like the most about being in games is the unfettered creativity. It is so cool to be able to create worlds, stories, characters without any limits, and that's what we do in games. On the other hand, players are now starting to experience that as well with all the new games that are coming out that give you, the player, the opportunity to create your own worlds or your own characters. And I think Mod Nation Racer is actually a good example of that. One of the really fun aspects of this game is building your own character, and I could do this all day long. And I love the control that I get over these mods. It is pretty awesome. So I think that Ratchet and Clank need some girlfriends. Start with, with Clank's girlfriend. Call her maybe Clankette. Pick a skin that's metallic. It's easy to go overboard and add lots and lots of stuff, but I believe that simplicity is sometimes better. I think that it's easier to read the character if you don't kind of overdo it. What's nice about Mod Nation Racer's character customization is it gives you this additional prop list that you can use. And bolts, to me, are exactly what you need for a robot. So I'm going to start adding bolts as kind of a little hairband. And what's pretty amazing is I can just make one bolt, duplicate it, and move it around. Now she's a little bit Frankensteinish, but I don't think that uh, Clank's going to mind too much. Clank's girlfriend. Looking good to me. So now that we have Clank's girlfriend, I think Ratchet would be a little bit put out if we didn't make one for him. Really, there's no creative decision that is truly is wrong. We can just continue to experiment until we get something that feels right. Now let's go to make some cars. I'm a big science fiction buff, so most of my inspiration comes from great science fiction writers or science fiction movies. So need to pick something that is appropriately space agey. What's really cool here is I can use this color palette, or if I want to get very specific, I can use the color wheel, which is pretty easy to use. I love the fact that I can just put a toilet. That's just goofy. No, I don't think that's gonna fly for Clay's girlfriend. What's cool is that I can pretty much apply this stuff as fast as I'm thinking about it. Plank gets car. I think she'll dig it. So now that we've got characters and cars we need to track, in particular, what I've been really impressed by is their real-time terrain modification. I mean, it's awesome to be able to go in there and make a track with whatever you want. That's, that's vision. What's really cool is if you blow it, what you can do is reverse your progress and continue on again. That is awesome. It's kind of like having a little rewind on your PlayStation 3. So now I'm going to complete the track, and voila! So I was poking around a little bit in the mod area. They've actually got a ratchet and a clank that players are going to get a chance to actually use in the game, which is really cool. I think whenever a game like Mod Nation Racer comes out, what it does is it helps raise the bar for the industry in general. And I think over the next few years, we'll see more and more examples of really great player tools appearing in games. I certainly hope that happens. I know that we're inspired by what they've done. Oh, that is really, really awesome. I'm Ted Price, and this is my mod.